So this is what happens when you abuse the capabilities of your gearbox. And this can also happen when water or moisture has got into your gearbox and then it's rusted the splines away, making them weak. And then when you accelerate or let your foot off the clutch, then this will happen. It will strip the splines and you'll no longer have drive on one side of your machine. So this half shaft is out of a peerless gearbox off a ride-on mower and when I opened up the gearbox originally it was actually full of water and obviously it should just be grease or oil in there. Um, so that is probably the main cause of this spline going rusty. However, I do know that it has pulled some heavy loads over its time and that probably has weakened it as well. Now there are a few ways to prevent this happening. One is to store your machine under cover and don't submerge the gearbox in water when you're driving it. Um, obviously you wouldn't normally do that when you're cutting your grass but if you're going to go off-roading on it or something. Another way to prevent this is to come off the clutch as slow as possible. Um, I know that when you're in higher gears you have to do that anyway because otherwise it will jerk but it's always best to come off as gently as possible. Uh, another thing is heavy loads and especially if you come off the clutch quickly with a heavy load. Now sometimes if you come off the clutch quick with a heavy load it will just slip the belt and the belt may even come off. Um, but on some cases when it does have enough grip on the belt or your belt's too tight it will transmit the drive straight through to the differential and it will damage it if you've got too much load on. For those of you who haven't seen a differential out of a mower this is pretty much what they look like. Um, now the spline I'm talking about goes in there and then there's a shim washer which goes in between that and the spider gear. So you've just got to wiggle that in to get it through into the spline of there. You can now see that it's in the spider gear. So that's how the half shaft on this side sits in the differential. Now the problem is when the ride on mower is moving and obviously the wheel with the least resistance will move especially when it's on slippery conditions. Because the spline on this half shaft has been stripped, it means that when this side has the least resistance, which means this one is supposed to turn, it just spins inside because the spline goes into more grooves inside that spider gear. And when that gets the drive, it will turn it, or it should turn it, like that, but it doesn't. So there's a closer up view of it. You can see that it's been uh, damaged and you can actually see there is further pitting along this half shaft meaning that there has probably been, in fact there has been, rust and other debris inside the gearbox. So you may ask, if this happens to me, what shall I do? Well obviously the best thing you should do is get a new half shaft. Um, but they can be expensive and some people do weld them on, they weld them back on um, instead of having the C-clips holding them on meaning it would work and it probably worked very well but who's to say that the weld will break uh, within a year or so of it being done meaning you'd have to go back inside the gearbox again pull out the differential and then either redo your work or put a new one in so recommendations here I would say to just buy a new one although it is expensive um, because then you're pretty much guaranteeing it's going to work for a lot longer than if you weld it. Uh, if you are a really good welder then yes you probably can just weld it and it will be fine for as long as you want it. Um, so it's up to you really but I would just recommend buying a new one. So that's what happens to old differentials and differentials which are abused.